Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Uh, man, I don't know if you've if you've noticed this, but like on social media lately, or Facebook or Twitter, I think uh, it's pretty obvious that we are becoming more and more divided as a nation, right? It's left versus right, right versus left, and we're all looking for someone to blame. We all, we all say, oh, I, I know who's to blame, it's the president, right? Or I know who's to blame, it's guns. Or I know who to blame, it's uh, video games, or it's drugs, or it's the mental health industry, right? We all have, we all have the answer. It's, it's, it's everybody's fault, right? <laughs> it's everybody's fault. Well, it's, it's everybody's fault except mine, right? It's everybody's fault except mine. But the reality is suffering and pain are everywhere. And it touches the lives of millions, if not billions of people. And it doesn't just affect the victim, right? It doesn't just affect the victim, it affects their families, it affects their friends, it affects where they work, it affects their uh, churches, it affects their communities. So these trials, these bad times, they affect all of us. They affect all of us. And, and I think that when that happens, then we want to ask why. Well, why does it happen? And then, you know, people get, people get murdered in Walmart, and then every two-bit philosopher wants to step in with their explanation, their reason, say, oh, I know why. I know why this happened, right? I can give you the answer. I, I know why this happened. And you know what? We, we, call it, we call it a discussion, but the discussion isn't helping. It's not. It's not helping. All, all the Facebook posts, all the tweets, all the graphics, all the statistics that we post, none of it is helping because we're not drawing closer together. We're still divided and we're still arguing and we're still fighting. And I think it's because we're just confused. We are confused. We don't understand because in our minds we say, we worship a loving God. We worship a loving God, and so this loving God should be sending love to us, right? We should live in a world of love and peace and joy and unity, and God should wipe away every tear. God should take away all of this, right? God should fix it. I mean, could God cure cancer by snapping his finger? Absolutely. Could God give a gunman a heart attack right before he pulled the trigger. Absolutely. All right then, why doesn't he do it? Why doesn't God do that? That's the number one question that we all have. That's the struggle. Why is there pain in the world? Why are there trials in the world? And this is the question that goes unanswered, right? This is the question we all try to answer. This is the, the question we all think we can answer, but this is the question that, that doesn't get answered. And then in all of this, how do we find happiness? How do we find joy? Because, you know, I, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Twitter and I'm watching the news and I don't feel happy. I don't feel happy. I don't feel joyful. I'm, how do I find happiness in all of this? And it is the number one question on all of our minds. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? And then how do we find happiness? What's the answer? That's what we want to ask this week. This Sunday at Walden Church, we're going to address it. This uh, past couple weeks, we've been doing a sermon series on happiness and how do you find happiness in some situations that aren't always happy. And so we thought we would save this one till now, till the end. How do we find happiness in trial? How do we find happiness in hard times? We should talk about it. It's a question we all need to talk about, not just as a community, but as a nation. We have two worship opportunities for you this week. We have a worship service at 9.30. This is our more traditional service. Uh, we have hymns, we have a choir, and then at 11 o'clock is our more contemporary service. We have a worship team, and we have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. Hey, we wanna be your local church. We'll see you Sunday.